Hi, I'm Dr Luke Mooney, knee and hip reconstruction and replacement surgeon at Orthopaedics 360 in Adelaide. Today, I'd like to talk to you about anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction surgery. This surgery is performed in people who have symptoms of instability due to a deficiency of the anterior cruciate ligament. The primary function of the anterior cruciate ligament is to support the knee. For pivoting movements such as pushing off, changing direction and cutting movements, usually seen in sports such as football, soccer, basketball and netball. The technique of reconstruction places a graft at the anatomical location within the knee joint to reproduce the native ACL function. This is performed with keyhole surgery to be able to accurately identify these locations and perform the surgery within the space of the knee joint. Most commonly, I use graft created from the patient's own body this can be from the hamstrings, the quadriceps or patella tendon. Often we use the same incisions that we'd use to prepare the tibia. When using a hamstring graft, I'd use a single hamstring such as a semitendinosus. Where possible, I retain the gracilis tendon to preserve soft tissues and improve the knee function during recovery phase. The hamstring is then prepared over devices which I use to secure the graft within the bony sockets prepared in the femur and the tibia. These devices are made of titanium buttons and strong loops of adjustable sutures which are non-dissolvable. The components of the operation within the knee joint are to create tunnels or sockets at the normal location of the anterior cruciate ligament. This is the attachment or footprint on the femur and at the top of the tibia. I perform an anatomical reconstruction, meaning the graft is secured in the usual and exact location of the attachments of the ACL and we find that this best reproduces the stability of the knee. With a philosophy of bone and soft tissue sparing techniques, I utilise drills which are delivered into the knee using a drill guide. Once in the knee, I deploy the device and create a socket from the inside out. Once the sockets are prepared, the graft is introduced into the knee through one of the small portals on the front of the knee joint. I secure the graft by tensioning the devices on the outside of the knee. If there are additional injuries within the knee, such as meniscal tears, I treat these with repair, and I'll discuss meniscal repair techniques in another video. Once the surgery has been completed, dissolving sutures will be placed into the wounds and waterproof dressings placed on the knee. I'll use a knee brace to support your knee in the post-operative phase. Following surgery, it's important to see a physiotherapist who'll assist with early mobilisation and will commence your rehabilitation from day one until 12 months after surgery. Post-surgical rehabilitation is goals-based. Whilst there are usual timeframes for each phase of recovery, it's important to successfully complete each phase prior to moving to the next. I'll discuss the ACL rehabilitation protocols in another video. Thank you for watching this video on ACL reconstruction surgery. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for further videos as they're released. Please also connect with us on Instagram and Facebook if you have any further questions on ACL reconstruction surgery, please get in contact. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you for our next video.